line of speech. Hey, we're on our last ahead. section of Unit 1. That's exciting. Okay, we're almost done with this one. We can, uh, once we're done here, we can work on the review and try to get that first test passed. Okay, it's been a long section, probably the longest one of the year. All right, so let's look at this. We're in section 1.6, uh, order of operations. The, uh, the target, I can follow a proper order of operations. Seems pretty easy to me. Let's check it out. Um, <coughs> to evaluate uh, numerical expressions or even algebraic expressions, it doesn't really matter. We'll look at differences in those later on. Uh, we follow what's called PEMDAS. Maybe you've heard of it before. I hope so. We have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Okay. A lot of times you'll see people write it this way. Um, and, and it gets kind of confusing at times when, when it is written this way, but multiplication and division are done together or in the same step from left to right, along with addition and subtraction done together. left to right okay so it, it sounds kind of confusing when you start talking about it that way a lot of times I'll write it this way instead so I'll write PEMDAS M D A S okay just meaning that I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna work through parentheses then I'm gonna go through work through exponents then I'm gonna look at multiplication and division from left to right and then I'm going to do addition and subtraction from left to right. Proper of order, oper order of operations is just like reading a book. We're working from left to right, but our first step is to look through parentheses, and then exponents, and then multiplication, division, then addition and subtraction. Okay? Not too bad. Let's go ahead and talk about exponents, since this is really the first time that we're going to get to talk about them. Uh, let's talk about what it really means. All exponents are, are repeated... Well, repeated what? We already have repeated addition. That's that's what multiplication is. But we're talking about repeated multiplication. So exponents, if I have something that says like a to the b power, or a to the power of b, or whatever it may be, uh, I'm just going to look at multiplying a times a times a, so on. Uh, there will be a times a at the end. And this happens just like multiplication b times. So you'd write it out until you're left with um, until you're left with b a's out a b number of a's out there. Okay. Let's go ahead and try a few. Let's see what it looks like. Our first one here is five to the third. Okay, five to the third. That means 5 times 5 times 5. There's three fives there. That's what the third means. You can go from left to right even on this to make it a little bit easier. 5 times 5 is 25. Throw another 5 in there. If you don't know what that is, grab a calculator, but it's 125. Okay? 7 to the fourth. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Super lucky uh, numbers here. Four of them all together. Uh, 7 times 7, well, that's 49. Do it again, 49. Those are multiplied together. 49 times 49, now we're getting big numbers. 2401. Okay? When we have a negative, we have a negative 4 to the 5th power. All I want to do is I just want to put those, uh, those negative 4s in parentheses. I'm going to write 5 of them. There's one, two, three, four. One more. And there it is. So I have negative four multiplied together five times. Four times four, even though they're negatives. Negative four times negative four is 16. Same thing here. 
and then I have a negative 4 on the end. I have one left over. It doesn't have a, a partner. That's okay. Uh, but 16 and 16, multiply those together, you get 256. And then we can add that or multiply that other negative 4. And it's going to give us a negative number, but it's negative 1024. Okay. So not bad when we're working with exponents, just something to look at. Uh, you may be pretty familiar with the squares. Okay. Anytime you see something to the second power, it's just that number times itself. All right, but why is order important? That's what the next part uh, asks. And here's why, okay? If we look at doing this problem two different ways, and I had never heard of PEMDAS before or order of operations, uh, I would just think, well, I'm just going to do this thing like I'm reading a book and go from the left and work my way through going to the right. I'm going to try that here. So 4 times 4 is 16. I have to write the rest of it, plus 10. Oop, that's divided by 2, plus 7 times 2. 16 plus 10 is 26, divided by 2, plus 7 times 2. Uh, 26 divided by 2, that's going to be a 13, plus 7 times 2. 13 plus 7, that will give me 20 times 2 and give me a final answer of 40, okay? Hopefully you understand that that's wrong. If not, maybe this will show you why. First of all, I go through looking at proper order. I look, look for parentheses. There are none, okay? Check that one off. Exponents, yep, got one right there. 4 to the second power, that's 16, plus 10, divided by 2, plus 7, times 2. <coughs> all right, but that's all the exponents. Check that off. Multiplication and division from left to right. Uh, when I look at that, well, I don't do anything with the 16. Uh, but I, I'm going to have a, a 10 divided by 2 here. So 16 plus 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, plus. Now, since I have an addition sign in between here, I can go ahead and do this multiplication at the same, uh, in the same step. You know, a lot of people don't like to write as much. You probably already hate having to write, you know, keep this 16 here the whole time. But uh, but it's okay. 7 times 2, that's 14. Add them together. Uh, 16 plus 5 is 21. And I have that 14 hanging around there. And we end with... Uh, yeah, we end with 35. Sorry, I was drawing a blank there. So... The right answer is 35, the wrong answer is 40, okay? It doesn't seem like a huge difference, but it really is. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. Now you're going to try some of these. <coughs> All right, I'll give you a break. We'll, we'll do some of them together, and then uh, we'll close off with you trying a couple. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll even just do, I'll do the ones on the left, you will do the ones on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and work through these three problems uh, straight down here. Now, kind of tough to see on my screen, but when you're looking at it on your paper, you can tell that these are both division. Okay, I have no exponents. I have parentheses, but they're only negative holding parentheses. There's really nothing to do inside these parentheses, so I'm going to not worry about the parentheses. There are no exponents. All right, now we're on multiplication and division. I have two sets of division here. So I have negative 9, or sorry, 9 divided by negative 3. So 9 divided by negative 3, that's going to be a negative 3. I have that minus there. Uh, 10 divided by negative 1. So 10 divided by negative 1 is going to be a negative 10. Okay? So now we're going to move on to addition and subtraction. Well, I just have subtraction, kind of. Okay, turn that into a positive, ne double negative. Negative 3 plus 10 is 7. And we're done. Awesome. Now I'm going to leave that one for you. Let's work our way down here. Uh, let's see, I have negative 3 squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. Minus, I'm going to write the rest of it. And here we go. Okay. 
So I have 9 minus 3 times negative 5. That's going to be a negative 15. I have that double negative going on again. And 9 plus 15 is 24. Okay, 24. <coughs> Proper order of operations makes life pretty dang easy. All right, here we go. Uh, I have a negative out in front. I have a couple sets of parentheses in here, but I don't have any exponents. So we're just going to work through the parentheses. And when you're working on parentheses, see how these ones are like square brackets. So those square brackets, nothing really changes. Okay, they're just an extra set of parentheses since I already have a set inside. So I'm going to work on both parentheses expressions at once. 18 minus 4 is 14, divided by. I'm going to leave those as square brackets. I can't do anything with this stuff. I have 7 minus 6 minus this set of parentheses. Uh, negative 3 minus 9. So, all right, it's kind of looking like something got a little bit messed up here. That's a really long negative sign, along with that one. I think that's supposed to be minus a negative 6 and minus a negative 9. Okay, just a computer mix-up. So I'm going to put that negative 6 there. Um, here we have negative 3 minus a negative 9. That's going to turn into a plus 9. So that's going to be 6. I'm going to leave this stuff out in front here. 14 divided by... And so now that 6 in parentheses doesn't really matter. It's, uh, there's nothing else in there. So I can, I can do this stuff here. That's going to be a plus. 7 plus 6 is 13 minus 6. I have negative 14 divided by 13 minus 6 is 7. Not that those square brackets are doing anything at this point, but we like to keep them there anyways. Uh, negative 14 divided by 7. Now that I'm done with my parentheses, I finally move on to uh, I finally move on to my multiplication and division. But negative 14 divided by 7, negative 2. Okay, kind of a tougher problem, but it's all right. We can handle it. All right, go ahead and pause the video. Try the three problems on the right, and we'll solve them when you get back. All right, welcome back. Uh, let's go ahead and get these three problems out of the way and we can move on. All right, so that six minus is going to hang out in front. I have parentheses. Uh, nine times three. Nine times three, that's 27. Divided by three. I can't do the subtraction yet because I have division over here. So 27 divided by three is nine. Six minus nine is negative three. Two sets of parentheses, division in between them. Uh, so 16 minus 6 is 10, divided by uh, negative 6 minus a negative 5. Turn that into a plus 5, negative 1. 10 divided by negative 1 is negative 10. Don't believe me? Throw it into a calculator. All right. Again, two sets of parentheses. we got those square bracket things, but we know that's just another set of parentheses. Negative 7 times 2 times 2. Well, I'm going to kind of do this a little bit backwards, but 2 times 2 is 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. Okay. And then divided by, we have the, that set of parentheses over there. I'm going to try to skip some steps here. Negative 2 plus negative 3. So I start at negative 2 and go backwards more. Oh, you can't see any of that. Jeez. Battling it. All right. So... All I did was simplify this uh, set of parentheses, dividing by this part here. Uh, but negative 2 minus 3 means I'm going to start at negative 2, go back 3 more. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Okay, we skipped a couple steps there, but talking it out is just as good. Sometimes even more valuable. Negative 28 divided by negative 4. Uh, you know, you can visualize dropping those square brackets and it's all the same okay but negative 28 divided by negative 4 is 7 all right summarize the notes uh, do the practice and the 
and the application, get all that stuff checked, do the mastery challenge, pass that with 80%, and then we can move on to that review and the test. All right, there will be a video for the review and a, another packet, a little less on the notes, a little more on the actually practicing problems. Have a good day, and you stay classy. Uh-huh, uh-huh.